hello guys welcome back in this video let's explore the pattern overlay in the layers panel uh, you have different types of uh, layer styles here so I'm going to create a text layer I can apply this pattern to any of the layers which has some pixel information which means I can take a new layer and take a brush and then start painting something here maybe I'll just take a different color for you to understand so I've got some stroke so I can uh, apply a pattern to this which is a layer and anything in this layer will have the pattern affected with so we have the text uh, we can apply pattern to this layer also <coughs> so it's very simple just select that layer go to the effects here in the layers panel and then choose pattern overlay then you get the pattern here so you have different types of blending modes you can explore uh, any one of that if I if I switch off the pattern overlay this is the actual color of the text so when I'm choosing a pattern here let me go with the uh, artistic surfaces and then we have this uh, pattern and uh, normally it looks like this it's like uh, lines okay so when I choose the blending mode uh, it starts blending with the text so if you want to create some cloth pattern or some burlap uh, or any effect to your text you can generally choose and explore the uh, blending modes here which have uh, the endless possibilities here uh, the only thing is you need to understand how things work with the blending modes and to choose the right pattern there the next thing is we have opacity you can control the opacity of the pattern which has been overlaid here and then we have uh, the pattern uh, section where you can choose any of the patterns here so you need to just click and select them and also you have uh, uh, snap to origin so I'll be choosing this one and uh, if I just move this pattern or maybe just click snap to origin the uh, the, the pattern is shifting to one corner and uh, st the pattern is starting from there now which is that corner uh, generally your Photoshop canvas origin sits on the uh, top left corner here this is the origin so the or, or the start of the uh, pattern will be from here and then it, it just repeats from there so you're snapping that uh, starting point of that uh, tile which you have got here to that place okay this is uh, taking a new preset uh, pattern whatever you have taken it generally takes as a preset here so though you have taken this one okay now if I select and increase this and then I click it uh, so it, this pattern is already there so it, it generally takes up a new pattern there okay just click that and then you should able to see that has brought the pattern here okay just <coughs> so it stores that uh, US settings what you have done and uh, keeps it here as one of the option for you to use then we have the scale where you are controlling the size of the pattern here it's like number of repeats so the scale is less the tile is going to repeat so many times and uh, the pattern starts looking smaller and uh, we have link with layer which is uh, when I switch it off and then move the text here okay um, I'm talking about the text let me switch uh, let me accept the pattern and then select the text here and you should able to see uh, the text is moving but the pattern isn't and the reason is uh, the, pat the pattern is fixed there and uh, based on the position of your text the pattern is different because you have changed the text position to a different place but if you select okay I'll just try to increase this for you to better understand I should able to see uh, this dark part it's it's staying there only the text is moving further okay 
however when i switch this link to layer okay that dark part you could see that moves with the text as it is so that is a link with layer uh, these options what you have done uh, you can just click this button and you can make this the, those values as the default values uh, Photoshop has a different uh, default values to access that just you need to click this button reset to default so it changes to the default settings there okay uh, you can actually copy right click copy the layer style and you can paste it to a different layer like that okay you can select and uh, go to the pattern overlay and then you have web patterns which is quite interesting so you need to just select them and then you have different types of checker patterns or the patterns which are uh, very unique so checkers um, and then you got vertical stripes with different thickness horizontal stripes with different th thickness you have uh, diagonal with different angle and thickness then you got the grid then you got again horizontal stripes vertical stripes diagonal stripes dotted i just reduce the size here um so you can check those now this is having gap uh, this is not having gap and then we have uh, different types of dots diamond shape and lastly it has got some texture so you can use those texture and then again as I, as i told you you can try using different blending modes and uh, get a pattern full of uh, a texture content uh, to your text or any other layer in that matter so pattern overlay is not a uh, vector so what does that mean is if you could uh, zoom it uh, i could see there is loss of quality and uh, that is because we make a pattern from a raster image only let's say if i just just uh, take a brush and then um, draw some strokes okay and uh, if i go to edit and then when i say define pattern that becomes a pattern actually okay so if i select the pattern overlay uh, you should able to see that pattern coming on 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 the object uh, let me scale it so you should see the pattern has been created just by uh, adding few strokes there and that's uh, getting the result however you could see the 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 design which i've created is not a seamless design that's why you could see a lot of cuts uh, you can use a, a filter uh, to create a seamless uh, design and then that design looks uh, continuous uh, which means if you could see here uh, there is a cut here they are not connecting well with the other side of the design so you can generally search for a seamless texture design okay